Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the power rule for calculus. The power rule states that if we have some function of x, so function of any variable, but it's frequently x, if we have some function of x, where we have x raised to some power a, where a can be any number, we can very easily compute the derivative of x using the following simple formula. We bring down the exponent, so we get a times x, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. It's just that simple. Let's go ahead and plug in some numbers and give it a shot. Let's say that we've got g of x is equal to 3x squared. And we want to know what the derivative of g of x is. Well, since 3 is just a constant, we can pull that out. 3 times whatever the derivative of this is. So we just use the same formula we had before. Bring down the exponent, 2, times x to the exponent minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So you can write this x to the first power, but frequently we just leave out the 1. It is understood that x simply means x to the first power. And then we'll multiply out these constants, and we get 6x. One interesting thing to note about the power rule is that it can be used for pretty much any exponent. Even something as crazy as, let's say we've got h of x equals x to the power of pi. Or something like x to the negative fifth power. Doesn't matter if it's irrational, fractional, negative, positive. You can always use this rule. So let's, let's go through this example here with x equals pi. If we want to find the derivative of h, well, we bring down the exponent as we did before. It's pi by x. And then we sub simply subtract 1 from the exponent. But what is pi minus 1? doesn't really matter. We can simply write that, pi minus 1. This is a perfectly valid way of expressing the derivative of h. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the power rule for calculus.